Hey Planner Besties, it's Becky here with Bestie Becky's Crafts and I had a request for a video on how to make some planner clips. I just did a swap with Suzette in Decorate and Make Planners Idea Swap Group on Facebook and I will leave a link to their Facebook group page below. And she wanted to know how I made the planner clips that I sent to her. So I told her it would be easier to do a video than try and explain it. So these are the planner clips that I sent to her, except I, this one was red instead of pink. And so I'll go ahead and show you how I made them. They're really easy and they're a lot of fun. So let's get started. So. The first one that we're going to make is this one right here. It's a felt bow. And let's zoom out. There we go. So I picked out what clip I wanted to use. And I store my clips in like a bead organizer. Um, this says craft organizer, I, I, organizer, excuse me, don't know how long I've had it, but paper clips fit in there really good, and as you can see, I have a lot of different colors. You can get them at, uh, like, um, office supply stores, Dollar General, has, or, I'm sorry, Dollar Tree has them, Walmart, Target, lots of places. So I just kind of, if I see a color I don't have or a color I like, I just kind of pick them up and this is where I store them because you never know what color you're going to want. And I decided on white for this little guy. I could have gone with red. That would have been alright too. And if you don't want to do color paper clips, you could always do your golds or your silvers. So, just a little hint of how I store mine keeps it real easy to find which one I'm looking for. So to make the felt bow, what I did was I have a die. This one happens to be from Lawn Fawn. There's all kinds of dies out there for bows. And I used the middle size bow to make this and I just used regular felt. And I cut out through my die cutting machine it cut through just like it does paper. I was surprised and it like opened a whole new world for me because like oh I can cut felt. This is awesome. So I cut out the middle size and you get pieces like this. These two white ones here. I cut them out of white and then there's my paper clip. Now I wanted a heart for the center and I happened to just find a heart the size I wanted. This one happens to be from my favorite um, things stamp group and it's, it just happens to be this little heart right here. I have all different size hearts. I just happened to choose this die because it was convenient. But you can use any die you want. You can cut it freehand too if you wanted to. So we're going to go ahead and put our bow together. And I'm going to use my hot glue gun because it's the fastest and the easiest, even though it can be messy. And my glue gun is a, is a mess. So, no judgments, please. So I put just a little drop of glue and fold my bow over and hold it in place till it dries. And, and as you know, it dries pretty quick. Try not to burn your fingers. And I hate these little spider webs that you get from a glue gun, but I love how fast the glue gun sets, so it's kind of a, a toss-up. I'm going to put another little dot of glue right there to hold the other side. And fold it over so that tab meets. So you can see, just like that. Now if you don't have a tie, you can always get online and find templates and just cut one out freehand. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and glue 
the back part of my bow on. Just like so. I'm just going to center it in there. And then just kind of make sure, turn it over. A little fuzzies everywhere. Push it down. <laughs> it's stuck. Now, to attach my paper clip, on the back here, I just folded over this little part, which is the part that you're usually supposed to wrap around to make the center of your um, your bow. Come in a little bit here. But um, I used it to attach my paper clip, or to attach my bow to my paper clip. So, and if you don't like the way that it looks on the back, you could always put a heart over it if you wanted to. Or if you wanted to attach your bow to your paper clip first and then put the back of the bow on top of it to cover it. Oops, sorry. You could do that too. So it's just kind of how you want to do it. And this is just how I chose to do it. Someone put a little bit of glue on the center there just to hold my paper clip down. Like so. And I just want to make sure he's he's centered. So and then oops. My little heart there. I'm gonna put some more glue up on that centerpiece because I don't want to burn my fingers. I'm just gonna use tweezers and pull that center part up just like so. Give it a second, and then I can use my fingers and make sure that he's glued on there really well. Alright, now if there was too much glue sticking out here that I didn't like or whatever I could always trim it with scissors but we're fine so now I'm just going to glue the heart to the center. So a little bit of glue and put the heart on. Just like so. One paper clip down. I zoomed in so now I'm not used to, <laughs> to where am I supposed to be? So there we go. Just like that. So you can make all different colors and you could do it for different holidays, not just Valentine's Day. You could put different things in the center just depending on your dyes. Or you could put bling in the center if you had like a a jewel or something you know you wanted to put in there you could do that that would work fine so there's that one super easy the next one we're gonna make is this one right here which I guess I will call it a love letter so I had a die for this one and it's from Alina Craft in AliExpress so if you get online and check AliExpress, you put in the shop name Alina Craft, a whole bunch of different dies will come up, and this happens to be one of them. And it's a nice small die. I thought it was really cute because it has the little little edge on it with with the little uh, hole perforations and the little you know decoration at the top. I thought it was really cute. So this is one I used. And I cut out my pieces. I cut out um, polka dot. I cut out the white for the note. I decided to use a white paper clip. Ooh, I almost threw away my little heart. And I have a heart. And then I tied a bow. And that I just tied with ribbon. I don't know what size. Is this an eighth? It's definitely not a quarter. It's too small for that. I don't know. I've had it for like 
oh, it's three millimeters. So I've had it forever, so who knows what size it is. Okay, so this one is a little bit harder, but it's still really easy. So let's start by kind of pushing our goodies out of the way. And we're going to start with this piece. Now, this piece was double-sided paper, but I like the smaller dots because it's a small piece. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to fold the sides in and I'm going to use my bone folder just to give it a nice crease. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay. And then I'm going to open it up. I've got glue stuck to my finger. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to fold up the bottom piece like so. And I'm just going to leave this top piece straight. I'm not going to fold it because I'm going to glue my little love letter in there. So, once I have the bottom piece folded, you can see where your crease is. I don't know if you can see that. You can see where your crease is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just going to like follow along that crease. Okay? Just like so. And you're not going to see it when you close it all up and do all that. So it's not going to matter that it's there. Alright, so I have that done. And then I'm going to take my handy dandy little centering ruler here, which I love. And if you watch my videos a lot, you know that I love this thing because it helps you to find the center. And so I'm going to go ahead and find the center of my envelope. And I'm going to go ahead and mark it. And then I'm going to come out. A quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch. All right. Now I'm done with my ruler. I'm done with my pencil, and I'm gonna make sure that that's oops big enough for my paper clip, which it is. If you can see that where my marks are. All right. So then I'm going to take my well-loved cutting board. <clears throat> oh, this thing is... It's been there and back, if you know what I mean. And I'm going to take a craft knife. And my blade is, is in terrible shape. I went to buy one the other day, and they did not have any. So, I'm going to have to keep looking. So, then I'm going to take a metal ruler you don't want to cut into your ruler and I'm just pushing the side up so so it gets it kind of right there on that edge where you can see and I might pull it back just a smidge okay but for the most part we want it pretty straight and I can see my two lines that I made and I'm going to take my craft knife I'm going to put it up to the edge of the marker and I'm going to start at that outside line and pull across to the neck to that second line I guess so it ends up being like a half inch slit okay and I want to make sure that it went all the way through which it did and then you're going to make sure it works with your paper clip which it does so there's my paper clip so that's how you hide it on the inside without having to cover up the back or do anything on the back so you can't see it. So you're hiding it in the crease. Isn't that clever? I wound up doing something else. I don't remember what I was making. But anyway, so let's put these away so I don't cut myself. Alright, so then the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and glue in my little love note. Alright, so I'm just going to take my handy dandy glue here and glue it in here. Now I do it first so that I don't have to trim it some. If you glue your paper clip in first then you have to trim this paper some because it won't fit 
so I just do it this way and I don't have to worry about it and I would center it bring it up a little bit see that little scalloped edge like so okay and now we're going to do the bottom part so we're going to take our paper clip and we're going to put him through that slit like so make sure he's the way that you want him to be and you're not going to want to go up too high because you, you don't want him to stick out you don't want to see that so make sure he's down far enough that you don't see him okay I always double check you know and then we're gonna put a little bit of glue on him to kind of hold him in place and glue along the bottom and there we go and then I always you know pick him up make sure that that paper clip is straight before it gets all dried you can't move it okay just like so and then I'm going to glue up the sides and I'm just using hot glue again because I don't want to wait so get a nice seal same on this side oops I should have put glue on the flap not that side but that's all right Hold him down. All right. So we're going to go ahead and glue our little heart up here at the top. So I'm going to put a dot of glue here and take my um, tweezers. And try and center it, but you know, I'm looking upside down. I can't quite see what I'm doing here. Alrighty, and then I had already tied a bow earlier, and if you know me too, I always put a little fray check on the ends of my ribbons so that they don't gray. And I'm just going to put a little dot there and stick my little ribbon bow on. Now if you didn't want to use a paper heart there, you could use, you know, a little sticker or a bling of some sort, whatever you wanted to do. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use my Spectrum Noir glitter pen. I need to open up a new Wink of Stella. My Wink of Stella ran out, so I'm just using this one, which is exactly the same, it's just a different name. To put a little sparkle there, and there we go. Cute. And on the back side, you could you could put a heart or you know decorate it too if you wanted to. And again, you could do it for different holidays. You could do it green and put a little shamrock up there for, for St. Patty's Day or whatever you'd like. So there's the second one. Okay. And for our third one, let's do our little piece of chocolate Valentine's Day candy. I think of it as a chocolate truffle. It's kind of what I thought of when I made it. So it has a front and a back they're both exactly the same but I did that just to finish it off and then no matter which way you had it in your planner it looked good so for this I used my clearly besotted um, die set it's all different kinds of cupcakes um, but if you didn't have the die, you could just use like a hole punch um, and whatever width that is. Let me see. 
it's um, like an inch and a quarter, an inch and a quarter punch. And then you could just freehand cut this to fit your circle, you know, or you could cut a, a square and, you know, you could freehand cut it. There might be some patterns on the uh, internet, not sure. Uh, or again, check AliExpress and see what they have online for cupcake dies. So anyway, I cut out two for the bottom and I cut out two tops and I picked out my gold paper clip and then cut out two bows and two hearts out of glitter paper. All right. And then once I cut out my circles, I used my embossing folder, my swirly embossing folder from Darius to make the little swirls on the candy. The chocolate. You know how I have little swirls at the top. Well, I just swirled the whole thing. Why not? It's my candy. So, I use that after I die cut it. Because if you emboss before you die cut and you run it through your um, die cutting machine, you're going to flatten out what you embossed and, and then you're going to have to do it again. So, always die cut first, then emboss. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this put together. So, we start with, I put my two top pieces together and I use liquid glue just because they can they can have time to set not a problem I just put the two pieces together and line them up squish them together a little bit and then set them aside to dry okay and now for our Cupcake papers. Is that what you call them? Truffle papers. I don't know. Uh, if you can see, these are just plain. There's no lines on them. But this one has lines on it. The die cut that I have doesn't have any lines on it. And I thought, eh, it needs some lines. Just to be cute. So, what I did was I took my handy dandy mouse pad. My terrible looking mouse pad. But... My son drew on it when he was really little, and so I can't I can't get rid of it. And it works really well for lots and lots of things. So, if I can pick it up. So, I take my one half of my cupcake paper, if you will, and a ruler. I'm just going to use my metal ruler again, and I'm going to use an embossing tool. And embossing tool it has like a little rounded end on both sides and they come in all different sizes Can you see that? and I'm going to use a smaller one not a super small one but a smaller one so that I don't go through the paper and there's scallops at the top of the cupcake wrapper so I'm just gonna line it up in one of the dips and on the outside, I'm just going to follow that, the um, angle, and I'm going to emboss. And I'm going to run it over it, you know, a few times, just to make sure I get a good crease in there. And then I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to do the same thing again. Following the angle, and I'm in that scallop, and I'm just going to run it back and forth a few times. And then for the next one, I'm not going to follow the same angle. I'm going to angle it a little bit towards that last line that I did, just because of the number of scallops that I have. And there we go. And then I'm going to do the same on the next one, like so. 
and there we go we're done isn't that easy so I'm gonna do this one real quick again angle it same angle from that scallop down to the bottom and do the same thing on the other side wouldn't have to do this if you didn't want to I just think it adds a little something sometimes it's those little details or what kind of makes a difference on how things look and my last oops my last line here I got caught in the scalp alrighty so there's that finish with those alright so I have my two pieces and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a bead of glue along one side oh, I'm out of frame again aren't I okay I'm going to run a bead of glue along one side of my truffle and I'm going to glue it onto the top of that wrapper just like so okay see that and now I'm going to go ahead and decorate it so let's put a bow on maybe if I can pick it up let's go ahead and put a bow on like on this one Use my tweezers. Now, for some reason, this bow is a little bit longer than my wrapper here, which is fine. It probably goes better with one of the other dies, that's why. So, I'm just going to trim it. It's not a big deal. And I'm going to go ahead and put Heart up here at the top. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm coming down with a cold. Had a runny nose all day today. Okay. So now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to attach my paper clip. Okay to the bottom there. So I'm going to put some glue right there to attach my paper clip. And I'm going to flip it over and make sure he's straight. Okay. And then I'm going to take my paper for the other side. And I'm going to put hot glue on it because I don't want to wait for regular glue to dry. Oop, I just touched my finger. I'm going to line it up. And then I'm going to press it down really good and make sure that it's sealed on both sides. And now we're going to go ahead and glue on the other, the bow on the other side. And if you didn't want it to be a bow, you could always trim off the bow part and just have it be straight. If you, if you didn't, if you didn't, you know, want it to be exactly the same on both sides. And I'm going to use my. tweezers again and I'm trying to line up on both sides where they meet like so does that make sense remember one side's going to stick out a little bit that's okay we're just going to trim it let's give it a second to set 
I put a another heart up here. And that glue will dry clear, so it's not a problem. All right, and then to bling it up a little bit, I have these a gold enamel hearts. I uh, they're from Teresa Collins Studio. I had no idea. Like I said, who knows where I got them, when I got them, but I thought, oh, that would be cute little hearts on there instead of the round dots I done originally. But again, you could put whatever you wanted there. Like a lot of frame again, huh? And then the same on the other side. And I always put a dot of glue underneath whatever bling I put on, just so my bling doesn't fall off. There's so many times that you know my bling has fallen off, and it's so frustrating. So I always put <clears throat> a dot of glue underneath my bling. So there are our two Valentine's truffles. That wasn't too hard. Alright, so the last one, the final one, and this one's very, very fast. Very fast. But the messiest. So I have a pink paper clip, and I have two um, glitter heart stickers. Okay? And then I have this pink tool, which is really, really pretty. And if you tell, it's all glittery, which I think is gorgeous. I did have, I do have plain pink, but I'm like, <laughs> let's do some glitter while we have it. But it is very messy. So this is how we do this one. So you take some of your tool, just roll out a piece however long, however long you want, and I'm out of frame again, and you're just going to cut it, okay, and you're going to find it everywhere, and then I just fold it in half, and you've got like this you know, gather where it folds, okay, turn it on its side, okay, and then you're going to stick that spot through the hole in your paper clip, and then I always put my finger back through the hole, <laughs> and then my thumb, all right, and you're going to grab the tails, and since this has glitter, it doesn't doesn't really slide really easy, so you kind of have to work with it a little bit, and then you just pull it tight, just like you use your ribbon. All right, ta-da, and then what you do, the nice thing about this stuff is it kind of sticks to itself. So at this point, you don't need to put hot glue on it. We're going to take our sticker. And I'm going to put hot glue down its middle. And I'm going to stick it. In the center there. Onto the tool. I'm squeeze the tool together, push it down, and lift it up. And then here's my back side. I'm going to take my other sticker that's exactly the same size. Put it off here. And I'm going to hold it on the very edge. Put 
And push it down to meet that other heart. And then push it down really good. Pull the tool tight. That was my husband. Not following the rules. I didn't say anything. <laughs> and she came in and kissed my head. You don't hear that. Okay. And then once you have that part done, then you just need to trim the tool to whatever length you want it. like that. So, there's all our, and like I said, you got glitter everywhere. So, here are our planner clips. And glue. There we go. <laughs> like, you don't want to see that. All right. I said that was easy, and it didn't take too long, hopefully. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something in the process. And thanks for joining me. Happy crafting, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.